So we're back in the fish room today and today is a pretty exciting day. I was just um, doing some manual tasks and I forgot to record some stuff but today we're going to be getting some really cool fish. Now yes, you know what I'm like, go a bit berserk with the fish but today we're going to be getting something pretty special and a lot of you guys have been commenting about it. Now they're going to be going in this tank, you can see I've set it all up. Um, there's just a few things missing but we're going to be getting some discus. now. I'm going to go and take you guys along for the trip. We're going to go visit our friend who has a breeding pair ready for us. Um, we're going to go with another mate of mine. And we're going to go check them out and see if we want to pick them up because I've been wanting to get into discus for a while. And I've never pulled the trigger. I've actually never kept discus, even though I have a whole fish room full of fish. I've just never ended up keeping discus. So today's going to be a first day, hopefully. If they look good, we're going to pick them up. And yeah, it should be a really fun day. So yeah, I was just picking some eggs out of this um, Cory tanks, so these are the Trilonetus or Trilineatus Cory's, and they've just been really exploding with eggs. I mean, I took about 100 out yesterday, and there's just all of these in here today, so they're doing really well, but, um, and also all the other Cory's seem to be doing okay, but because I'm keeping these bedders in the tanks, you can see one right there, and a red dragon right here. They've actually been eating a lot of the eggs, so I've got to fix that. I've got to get the bedders some different kind of storage facility, like a tub kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do, but today's video is going to be about getting these really, really cool discus. So let's go and head on over to the breeder. How do you get it so that um, there's no glare? Is it because the back's painted so the light doesn't? Yeah, right. So if I turn that on, you'll get the reflections. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So you say these are the... These are the white tiger. Yep. Yeah, so these are the normal vertical tiger. Yep. Um, so the color you can see is more like... It's, it's a turquoise with, uh, with a tiger pattern, basically. Yeah. But this is a, a very latest version of white tiger yeah, with a lot of wild genetic in there. So a lighter color. Sure. It's almost like metallic. And then it's got halo. If you look so at the side cool. profile. Yeah. They come out so good on the camera, hey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're this one. And these are the smaller one by Robert Lim. Yep. So you have um, checkerboard. You have... These are um, the checkerboard, sorry? These are the... Uh, no. These are the checkerboard. Yep. And then these are the um, red spotted green cross eruptions. Okay. And these are the red valentines. You don't okay. know that solid yeah. color is. It's so hard to mean. Yeah. Wow. This is the best. Daniel got some. I just want to look at these again. That's so cool. Well, I knew we'd be looking at that one. That's a, was that one in your yeah. painting? Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah, I remember that solid bar there. Right, right. That's the, uh, we call it a flora X. Yes. It's a flora cross with, uh, so what they do is they farm the breeder across a, wild, a certain type of wild discus with our hybrid um, turquoise. Yeah. So obviously they cross this one with a red turquoise. Sure. So that hangs the, color, the, the red color. Yeah. And then the base color is, you can see um, like a lot of wild discus here. Yeah, so, so the banding is, correct. that's yeah. wild. Correct. Right. So the, also Dustin. the base color is like light brown. That's like the Dustin, I mean, um, what's his name? Dean's Fish Room. He's got, yeah. you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The actual so that's, wild ones. So yeah. he crossed that wild discus fish. So yeah. This is a cross between that and a, and a super red toad, right? Correct. Wow. Yeah. And you uh, see the we, size of them too, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. With you, see that guy? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wow. So he's the biggest fish in the entire fish room. <laughs> Jeez. And that's a Super Galaxy Turks. Yep. Uh, just got a bit of a hole in the head. Yep. Just the various minor ones. Yeah. yeah. That's a um, golden eruptions. So a very light golden base. Zero pepper. It's no pepper <laughs> at all. Yeah. So, do you Scott, do any uh, breeding Scott at all? Blood, nah. No. Just nah. importing? No time, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So, just import and then and then you guys can enjoy it. Yeah. Right. And these are the smaller ones. Some Jewish. Well, if I breed any, I can sell them to you. Yeah, if the quality is good, why not? Because I know I know where they're from, the bloodlines. Yes. Yeah. Also, you're going to hate me for saying this, Vincent, but I'm colorblind, so. Probably half the stuff There's you a see, lot of, I can't a lot of see. different reliable varieties in there. See, like the colors, like for me, out of this whole tank, the best look like the most vibrant are probably this one. Yep. And then maybe that one, and then these ones. But the like, blue ones. 
the ones like this. This, this has a lot of wild genetics that yeah. you can tell from the brow base, I so can, the red cover. But yeah, I can't mostly see, they, they look like one color. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. And the oh, color, color changes, you yeah. know that. You're just going to have to describe the, the beauty of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you need a little, a little bit of explanations, otherwise yeah. you don't know what you're looking at. Well, like at. that's why, like looking at these white tigers, yeah, I yeah, can, unreal. Like, I can, I, like, yeah, they look unreal because they're like easy colors to see. Yeah. For me, if you, if I cue the lights, um, this one here, and maybe you will get a better perspective. <laughs> so if you look at this fish sunlight. from the yeah. side, the side profile. Oh wow. You can't really see clearly that, like, yeah. But I spent a lot of time here, look at every single fish. Sure. Yeah. They do look better under natural lights. Yeah. Especially the wild ones. Yeah. Uh, what just the halo. likes. Yeah, yeah. Like the halo is just halo. Okay. okay, now we go to the... Oh, I didn't realize there's all these ones as well. Like, yeah, yeah. The main thing. That's the main thing. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how, how big is this tank? Eight feet? This is an eight footer. It's uh, 1,500 liters. Gee whiz. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many are in here? About 35 right now. Yeah. Wow. So a few of them. So these, wait, you, so you don't sell these, you just keep these? Yes, places? I do. Oh, I do. okay, yeah. right. Most of them. Wow. Yeah. Some crazy ones in here. <laughs> How many pieces in someone's house? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is over. That's a F2 or F. Uh, no, this is a Hacker Cross. Hacker Cross. It's a Hacker Cross. So a uh, Hacker with a turbo wash. Okay. So what we want is we want the full bar, the feet that's Hacker bar, yeah. to be like from all the way from top to bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so also a Hacker Cross there. Yeah, well. that one there. Yeah, it's the same from the same parents. Oh wow. From the same parents. Yeah, much bigger than fish. Wow. Yeah. That's a blue. There's a blue yeah. Flora X, the one that you like. Yeah. Yeah. I've got all of them in this thing. Okay. But I'm still selling them. Wow. <laughs> so these are the. Sure. So these so are the local red ones here, man. Yes. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, five. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. That's the proper reason. You can tell from the signs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Take the oranges. <laughs> That's insane. So these are all local bread. These are uh, oh, okay, five, right. five pieces. This one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So for water in yeah. all your tanks, are you using tap water or are you using Just uh, straight water? tap water. Oh, just. Yeah, just wow. straight tap. Okay, cool. uh, you don't chase pH or KH. So, so those ones that you showed us before, the ones over here that are bread. Yeah. Yeah. They were bread and tap water. Correct. Oh, really? Yes. yes. No RO. Justin's saying to me he's off. No RO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're going into Zero RO. So maybe we should. But the thing is, uh, this, this, goes to, this goes to show that they are very fertile. Like, you know, yeah. some, some discus, they just, they just can't, they, you know, they can't get there. Mm -hmm. They just keep laying, 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 but it's fine. It, you know, I know they don't follow that fish. Yeah. So uh, if you have RO, or stop the water, you get a much bigger damage. Can you explain yeah, what? Really There's a little baby there. Yeah. Can you explain what IP means? It's IP so is the name of a, a very uh, well known discus farm in the world. Yep. So they are called IP discus farm in Malaysia. Yep. So, uh, well, regard, uh, well, you know, some regard it as uh, the, the number one farm in the world, or maybe in Asia. Okay. So, all your yeah. discus, well, most of your discus. 90% of them are IP. Uh, yep. From the breeders are Jeffrey and Tony Tan. So, everyone knows who they are. <laughs> All the discus people. On All the discus people. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. So they've been doing it for like almost forty-five years. How did you go in a quarant like when it was COVID and everything? Yes, your business is important. Ah, uh, so. correct. So you will impact the stock level. Obviously, you'll be on the lower side. Uh, but because of the relationship we have with them, we'll be given the first priorities. Oh right. Yeah. So the biggest importer in the world right now is China. Yeah. Number two is UK. Yeah. And we are Australia. We're sitting at number three, which is oh, not bad at all. That's crazy. So uh, we get a lot of good fish from them. That's crazy. Yeah. I've got guys from Europe. Yeah. Just texted me this morning, These six a.m. Nice. our time, sure. and go. Um, you know, they, they don't get any good IP pieces. They so you get some, but yeah. they are like substandard. They are not at this caliber. So with these ones, did you bring them in, and then they came in with all of them, and then they just paired off? Or yes. 
Huh, cool. Yeah, naturally they were. Naturally, they were yeah. Good, yeah. Remember they were like four or five pieces of them when you came? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then these two pair up, uh, and I had to remove the rest to the other tank. Yeah. So yeah. this one, yeah, that's stunning quality right there. With the, with the halo. Yeah, that's a female. Yeah. Yeah, that's a female. The one, Ooh, back, the one at the back is a male. Look at the, the strong halo. Yeah. Yeah. This is unreal. It's, yeah, that is female unreal. is, and even the eye, the bright red. It's unreal. Mm. Such a healthy fit. Yeah. And it's look crazy. how protective that. Yeah. That fish is. What are you feeding? Yeah. Uh, just oh, see the mix that I make my own, okay. and then also the uh, fish dry black. You don't mind if we take down a recipe, do you? Uh, I don't. Part, 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 okay. part yeah. of it. Part of it, right? Yeah. So you can actually have just replace your typical beef up mix. Yeah. Uh, I think I told you just replace all that with. Uh, yellowfin tuna. That's what I did. Okay. Yeah. Top secret. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm selling it commercially. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, understandably. Oh, I can yeah. get that. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of recipes on it. I can tell you they're pretty much the same. Yeah. But the most important thing is maybe um, pick up the bit hard in my opinions. Because of the worms, right? Hormones. Hormones. Okay. Yeah. So that's very very bad for our fish. Our fish. Um, the in in a, in a health is is not good at all. What if so, you used organic beef heart? But are they really organic? Yeah, so true. they're saying like if you if you look at the label, they're like non hormone fat fish. Yeah. You know, I don't really buy that. Especially with this because you don't really want to take yeah. the risk. No. Yeah. And I can tell if once um, since they got onto the seafood mix, um, you know, like without beef heart, yeah. I don't actually have to run them that regularly. Okay. Like maybe once every two to three months. But if you go on beef heart, you might want to do it every month. Yeah. And like you can't get your hands on the bamasol easily. Yeah. It's, it's really good. It's very yeah. effective. It's, yeah. it's almost it's targeting almost ninety five percent of the Do you know? Worms. Do you know if it um if it kills the worm or if it paralyzes? It, it, it paralyzes it. So the how, the way it works is um you go through a few stages. So we call it a, a, a three 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 uh, sure. treatments. Yeah. So first three days um you want to cure the parents if that makes sense. We're gonna paralyze them. Yeah. And then um, you just let the let the fish rest for another three days. Okay. To let the egg hatch because those chemicals are not able to penetrate the right, eggs. Okay, so uh, one first three days you won't yeah. we won them and then on three day four later, yeah, yeah and then you remove all the levels upon that okay. and then just let it rest without the, the chemicals for three days. Yeah. Uh, but we more. just assume that there's there's egg okay. attached somewhere. So the egg will hatch um, uh, during the, the stage two of the, the, yeah. the treatments. So and then you need to follow up with another three days in the last um, stage. To cure the babies. Okay, cool. So right. the whole the whole treatment takes nine days. So it's three, three, three. Okay, so yeah, yeah, all right. If, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So f so worm them. Wait three days. Correct. Remove all the like. Do a big water change. Correct. Try and remove all the mold and everything. Correct. And then worm them again. Yes. And then remove it again. Yes. And that's done. Correct. Okay. Something like right, that. Yeah. 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 So but I got an idea. Is to if you want to cure the parents. And then let it rest for a little bit, let the egg hatch, yeah. and then you follow up with another treatment okay. to the babies. Okay. That's your need. A lot of them go, uh, just dose it and leave it there for 20, so this 48 the, hours. Does so the flubendazole you reckon kill the babies? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And it can't so kill the parents. It can't kill the parents. You can't really kill the parents, okay. but you will kill the babies. Good point. Okay. Babies are so small. It the eggs, right? No, so no, yeah. Zero yeah. chance. That's the thing with yeah. the Bamasol does that apparently. And it's yeah. not effective yeah, it against uh, tape wounds. Okay, so take when we need the other tablet. The, uh, Prasic. Prasic Ponto. That's correct. Yeah. So you already know that. There we go. There's so much value in this video already. Uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, occasionally I'll do a, a PP buff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that that you really that? don't have to do is uh, potassium permanganate. Oh, okay. Yeah, to kill external um, um, nasties if there's any. There's always, they're always there. Parasite bacteria, you know, pathogens are there. Have you done one of those before, like Justin? No. Uh, it's not easy. But if you can get it right, it's actually very effective. Okay. So it kills everything external, including your flutes. And your flutes are a huge problem. Your flute really is, they get it all the time. Yeah. And then Prasi is not, it's too soft in my opinion. You have to use a lot of that, they are not cheap. And my PP is widely available and a lot cheaper. So when you do that, how do you do that? Um, okay, it's a bit complicated. Number one, you need to remember it kills, it will affect your cycle. So it's probably better to do it in a bad tank. Uh, like a hospital tank, like yeah, like down here. Yes. So if you look at these, all these, they haven't got any media in there. Okay. This is airstones. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. These three tanks. Okay. Nothing's in here. Nothing yeah. is in here. Uh, these two tanks are on uh, metronidazole treatments, 
and that one is on a uh, back to side one treatment and, and uh, salt. Okay. That one is it's got a uh, bacteria problems. Okay. Yeah, these three, these two they have got internal parasite problems. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for case in permanganate, you can go online based on our views. But remember, rule number one is you are not chasing the dosage because every system is different. If that makes sense, like these are. Both these are two 250 liters, yep. but I might need slightly more or less PP in this tank than that one, yep. because it's, each tank has got different level of organics. Depends how often you feed them, and uh, yeah, if you have more organics in the tank, as, uh, for example, you have more algae and stuff like that. Yeah. Those are those are those are all living creatures, so you need uh, more PP to to kill them. Okay. If that makes sense, so you're chasing the color. Color is what you're chasing. So no one can actually give you a standard dosage when it comes to PP. They can only give you a guidelines. Yeah, but if you want to do it again, you can hit me up. Okay, I can okay. give you a I'll sample. Anyway, yeah, so I can yeah. give you a sample, and then uh, but you gotta be careful with that though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you might kill them. You might just burn burn their gills because when when you dose the thing um, straight away, I mean, yeah, their breathing capacity is actually on the diminishing side. Yeah, yeah. They have ability to absorb oxygen. So you gotta be very careful with that. So, yeah. so increase the uh, aerations, agitations, all all those stuff. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people ask, like if you if you Google it, I'm not sure these guys have actually done it before. Yeah. They probably just copy and paste, copy and paste, but they, they haven't got any hands-on experience. Yeah. Uh, they leave it in there for 24 hours. But Do you find gill flukes is a problem with all fish or like just mostly just? I, in my opinion, I think all fish. Yeah, all fish. Yeah, everywhere. Like, it's just really hard to kill the cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got a customer, Justin, and I'll adjust it. Yeah. He <laughs> has been uh, doing this. He's been do he's been dosing uh, potassium permanganate every two weeks, hoping to kill the uh, uh, fluke cycle. Uh, but nah, no success. Okay. So he's been doing it for about three months. So every two weeks he will dose potassium permanganate. In my opinion, it's a bit too heavy. Yeah. Uh, but he just you know, the gear fluke is very uh, stubborn. So it's okay. just really frustrated. Okay. And uh, in three months, they would have gone through six uh, potassium permanganate treatments. Uh, I think it's too heavy for this case, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but the fluke issue is still there. Yeah. So, yeah. So you reckon every three months do a fluke treatment? Every two to three. Okay. And yeah. Every or two to three or, or well. based on what your fish tell you. Also, of worm. Yeah. Minus and worming. Worming is very important. With yeah. Prazi and with Amazon. Correct. Okay. Yeah. But. Prazi would be, you probably want to do it every six, once every six months. Okay. Because right. these guys hardly get tick wounds. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot okay. you know, throughout my, my business sure. giving life. Yeah, you, you don't really get tick wounds. Okay. But round worms and you know, all those um, like ankle worms, worms, you don't really yeah. get them. Round worms are the most common ones. Camel you get it all the time. Yeah. All okay. the time. How, yeah. What's the most common sign that you've got? It just the, the sunken in bellies or? Uh, sunken bellies, not really eating. Okay. Uh, losing color. All these signs that you need to pay attention to. Okay. Uh, turning black, but turning black usually is bacteria related. Okay. Uh, it could be worm as well. I mean, as, when you have something that's making them un um, uncomfortable, usually you stop eating. Okay. First sign, and then maybe like hiding in the corner, stuff like that. Just because plague, right? First yeah. sign of any illness. Yeah. yeah. So basically, when discus are really upset, they just go completely black. Okay. Mm. But just all right. And one thing also I'd like to share is, I think I told just um, discus, in they don't like it too bright. Yeah. So if you, if you look at my lights, it's probably at 30% capacity. Yeah. So they don't like it too too bright at all. Oh, okay. Once it's too bright, you start to see pepper. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is just discus. Yeah, okay. especially the like checkerboard. Like this guy here or that guy there. Uh, and that guy at the back. Yeah, they yeah. really don't like it too bright. Sure. This is maybe as bright as you want to get. I guess also yeah. like you can think of them in the wild. They're on the, the river banks, right? Yep. In the roots and the fallen branches Correct. and the Even though they're not from the wild, I mean these yeah. are you know hybrid. Yeah, they've still got the yeah, but they are they are natural instincts. Instincts. Correct. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let me kill right. the lights on that one. Why? Because uh, the mess are actually very wow. sensitive. So we get natural in there. Yeah. Let me yes. Yes. Yeah. I just lose my link because they just swim into my hand. So you want to do this. So you just rub their forehead like this. They're not shy. No, they're not at all. Mate. They're not at all. They're used to it. 
like this, just. Yeah. Alright, you got it? You got it, you got the idea. <laughs> and then you can stick it to your nose, they don't smell at all. Okay. <laughs> so a bad one will smell. Like bad one will smell, you can actually smell them even once you put Is it like the, a the fishy wood. smell or you just know? Like slime, yeah, you know. Okay. Let me do this. <laughs> that's a calico there. That's cool, right? a calico, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's such a rare discus fish right there. Wow, golden calico. And that's a super rich Samara. Yeah. Have you touched a big one? Oh, yeah, I don't think you have. This is that getting up. That's a what? Eruption. Eruption. Yeah. That's the one in, a, in that photo. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's alright, I'll have my own ones. <laughs> yeah, and I, I do this every day. Daily. Yeah, I do it in the morning, once in the morning and once at night. Otherwise I get angry with the funny yeah. thing. The funny thing is like, you could be joking, but I know you're not. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. I actually, I literally I yeah. have to do this. I have to do this. And anyone that doesn't come up to me, yeah, I'll put them on watch list. Something's not right. That's a red cover. Uh, blue face, blue rings. Yeah. Yeah. But not many people can see that though, just yeah. they're like blue. What do you mean? Yeah. But they're actually blue when you put yeah. them under natural. It's actually it's like it's like spray paint, like blue color, yeah. dark blue. I mean, you can see here on this fish, you can see that blue ring. Yeah, mm. yeah, for sure. They're not black, they're blue, dark blue. So we're doing a bagging. <laughs> Okay, to release a fish, uh, head down, and then just go like that. Seriously, a lot of them will go like this, like that, you know, they have no idea what they're doing. It's crazy. Yep. Okay, so with the males, um, you have your 45 degree angle line, you can kind of just imagine it. So, um, it should go along that dorsal fin and hit through the, I mean just above the caudal fin, yep. which is the, the tail. If it's above, it's a male. If it intersects or goes below, it's a female. Alrighty, so here you can see there's an obvious difference between these two fish yep. um, with the dorsal fin. So this here is the male mm -hmm. and this here is the female. So the female has a rounded dorsal fin yeah and the male this is a mature male by the way yeah has a pointed dorsal fin so sure. similar thing with the with the well, anal like, fin is that what you're talking about the 45 degree angle so the 45 degree angle is just another method of telling so with these fish what you do is you use a 45 degree angle and if it doesn't go through the caudal fin that means it's a male okay but see this how it goes through the caudal fin, yeah. That is a female. Yeah. So we can have a look quickly here. So let's go to the white tiger, surely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see if they can. Yeah. They can. So that'd be a female. Yep. So you got that. And that would be a male. Yeah. So you also got to remember that the smaller discus are harder to sex, right, Vincent? Yes. It's almost impossible. So they all are female. You can see better with this discus. This is a male. Male. Because it's got that point and it doesn't intersect. They're all male. Um, Mm -hmm. Male, female. So that, yeah, this one's a female because it goes through the portal. Show us. Yeah, right. Okay. Ma male. Yeah, that looks like a male. But some of them, it's really hard. See that? Female. This? Yep. Cool. All right. Oh wait. Definitely no, this, female. No, that's this. definitely a female. Right? Yep, that's a female. This that is might a be male. Yeah. So some of them, it's hard. So like this one, you can see that it looks like a male because it's got that point. Yeah, but it also intersects. Oh, come on, sounds a bit confusing. Intersects through yeah. the through the caudal fin. So some of them, it's just the shape. Sure. All right. So you sex them. The glare is probably terrible. I need to fix that. Eh? There we go.
That's the female. Yes, yeah, the female. Look at the bottom fins. Yeah, well. He's the tiger flora. Yeah. And that's the only yellow. Gee whiz. What a sexy pair of fish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it's cool. So it's now the next day, and we're back in the fish room, and I'm going to quickly show you guys our new discus. So, we've given them names already. Um, We've got our male and our female. So our female is a little bit smaller, she's right there, and our male is a bit bigger. You can also see down the bottom of them, there are ovipositor, or I think it's called a papilla, I'm not too sure. So you can see that there. You can also see the male's got his um, breeding tube out, if he would like to show us it. Now, the male's name is Lemon. Um, I know he's got no colors, that represent a lemon, but I just thought it was a funny name. And then the female is going to be called Clementine. So yeah, it's just a bit funny. But um, these guys are, so I think, so the, so the female is a tiger flora snake skin, and then the male is a flora snake skin. So they've been doing really, really well so far. They've been eating, um, they love frozen bloodworms, obviously. And they also have been eating a couple of pellets. You can see they haven't finished off their pellets from before, so I'll have to be cleaning that out now. If you look over to the right here, you'll see I've got an RO water system, which I've been using. So these guys are getting run off of RO because they need really soft water and I'm just using pure water. So they should do really, really well. You can see they've colored up nicely. They've been showing some breeding behaviors, but you know, nothing too crazy. Like she's pecking at this corner here, which is great to see. And they've also been pecking at this corner. And yeah, so I'm gonna be feeding these guys food that I'm gonna try and make. Um, I've never done that before. A lot of discus breeders do do it because it's cheaper and you can kind of control what they're going to eat. So I'm going to be making that. I mean, this camera's really not doing them as much justice as I would like it to. See just up close how beautiful they are. They're really, really, really stunning fish. I think I've just opened up a door that I'm not going to be able to go back out of. You know what I'm like with all these kinds of fish. They're just so cool. So you can see I've added this terracotta pot and hopefully they're going to lay on this in the meantime while I go and get some breeding cones. Um, wow, so here's the female right here and the male here. Just some really beautiful fish, hey? So yeah, they should do well. If they breed, I'm obviously going to keep you guys updated. And yeah, I just, I'm just i kind of in awe of how beautiful these guys are. Discus have so much character and I've just, I've, like I can't even explain how much I've learned over the past couple of days just about these guys just keeping them now, so it's crazy. So I think that's going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, Lemon and Clementine breed, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.